It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. I'd like to introduce you guys to Crafted Crate. Craftedcrate.com is an online beer store where you, for £36, it'll get you 12 beers, interchangeable beers every month. You won't know what's coming, uh, but they'll definitely come from Crafted Crate if you go to their website, craftedcrate.com. Check them out and maybe join. That'd be good. If you want more info uh, or a link to the website, there's a, a little bit of an information in the description box below. Ch please check that out. Today's beer is Wiper and True Small Beer Number 16. It's 2.8% ABV. The malts are Golden Promise, Munich, Caramalt, Crystal, Flaked, Wheat Flaked and Malted Oats. And the hops are Citra, Mosaic and Equinox. US 05 Ale Yeast. There's the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. I've not had a small beer in a while. I think the last one. Wow, look at this. Now there's still beer in that there bottle, but it's quite hazy and it's got a... I think it's just a little bit of malt or something that's got in the beer. These things happen. Uh, nice off of the carbonation. A slightly hazy small beer then. The hops are absolutely fantastic. You, you can really smell the, the hops even from a distance. So it's nicely carbonated, a little hazy. Should we get the aroma? My goodness me, that just smells absolutely fantastic. Yes, you get the citra. Yes, you get the mosaic. And Equinox, I think, is quite a new hop. So, I'd like to try that one. Should we try it now? Cheers. They're very difficult to do. I like this beer a lot, it's really nice. For a small beer, for a table beer. What you get is, you get more of a hop profile. Because this, it's only 2.8% ABV, you don't really need that much malt. So the aroma is fantastic, it's grapefruity and citrusy, a little piney. And then in the taste, so it offers a lot of promise in the aroma, in the taste. Number one, it's extremely drinkable. It's the most drinkable beer, refreshing beer you'll ever find is a table beer, is a, is a small beer. Because there's, there's hardly any malt. There's just so much... lack of malt in the beer. The more malt you add to a beer, the more sugar you add to the beer, the more the yeast ferments on that sugar and converts it into alcohol. So the more malt you add, the higher the ABV of the beer. Likewise, the less malt you add, the lower ABV of the beer. So this really is bordering on a hoppy, it's kind of, the balance on the beer is kind of leaning towards it being just a very hoppy, slightly malty, beer then and I understand why they do this in the UK we have a law on tax I think it's under 2.5% ABV beers uh, uh, literally there's hardly any tax at all so I think some of the breweries started to brew these small beers these table beers to kind of get through that tax barrier uh, but for me I always ask that question would I buy the beer again? Where would I drink it? In what situation? I, I'm one of these guys. I'll go out and I'll drink the one pint rule. I'll have a pint of uh, not not crazy beer, something something up to five percent ABV. I'll have a, I'll have a pint of it and drive the car. For me, that's acceptable. I know in my own body in my own mind that I can drive a car sensibly on one point up to five percent ABV. This on the other hand I just feel 
I suppose you would it would just make it would just help you to join in if if you wanted to be responsible if you were out with the car you could have one of these and you could really the driving the car would be absolutely fine but that would kind of be the only situation in which I would actually physically buy this beer because I personally like a lot of malt and I like a lot of hops and I like a little bit more balance it's just a li they're very thin they're, they're just very drinkable thin beers but there's not enough kind of oomph there's not not enough miles per hour in this beer for me to want to buy it again but in terms of it being a small beer and some people enjoying small beers I will rate it as a small beer And I will say, out of the seven, eight, nine, maybe ten small beers I've had, this is up there with the very best. So rating it as a small beer, as a table beer, probably in the category of under 3% ABV beers, this beer is exceptionally good. It's a 9 out of 10. But I'm not really a big fan of small beers, so although for that kind of section it done very well, that that if it was judge if I was judging three percent and under beers, that would probably come out as as very close to being the winner, if not the winner. For me, I, I wouldn't actually go searching for that style. It's not for me. So, wiper and true, small beer number sixteen, Citra Mosaic and Equinox, grapefruity, citrusy. It's quite piney, but for me it needs more malt, but then you're going to add more alcohol. So yeah, well, we're not going to go into that whole kind of thing again. So 9 out of 10 for the small beer category uh, for this beer then. Uh, you can check it out at craftedcrate.com. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.